All right, time for a little collaboration video with another big time YouTuber, this time Devin Christian over at Debo's Fishing. Uh, so check him out if you have not seen Debo's Fishing. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. Give him a sub, give me a sub. Uh, the, the fishing YouTube world uh, is the most exciting on, on the platform, so let's all help each other. So, uh, I've seen plenty of his uh, videos, and you know, he, he, he does, he dabbles in the lure craft world like we all dabble. And I've seen him do a couple unboxings, uh, some other lure makers have sent him some stuff, and I said, he needs to see some high-end hand pouring. Now, I've given him basically um, free reign of anything that I can make. So it might not even be a hand pour. I basically said, pick out some stuff that you want, I'll make it on video, send it your way, and you can do your thing with it. Uh, so I'm about to hop on a phone call with him, and we're gonna kind of discuss maybe what he wants and some color ideas, and, um, and then we're gonna make some stuff for him. So uh, I think it'll be a, a fun challenge. You know, anytime you're sending some of your work off to somebody who also uh, uh, makes, makes lures and has seen a lot, you know, the pressure's on to really, really show out and impress them. So here we go. Hello? What's happening, man? Chris Jones, World's Worst Fishing. How are you? Chris, what's going on, man? I'm Devin. Yeah, well, uh, nice to meet you. I'm actually out here in the bait shop right now about to uh, pour up some saltwater colors, but I uh, wanted, to, wanted to reach out and get acquainted and uh, see what type of uh, lures and stuff you're into so I can send some stuff your way. Yeah, for sure, man. It's exciting. Yeah. But, uh, what... What got you over to my channel? I didn't even know you watched my stuff. Uh, just, just watching YouTube late at night, buddy. Um, just trying to go to sleep. And I, I, I watch a lot of bait makers. Um, uh -huh. And I had seen one of your videos where you unboxed a few swim baits and some other things. And I was like, oh, this guy's a tackle junkie. And he likes, it, and he likes, you know, custom-made stuff from small guys like me. But I mean, I can do everything from uh, in, inject you a regular stick worm, uh, or pour you pour you some crazy swim bait thing. It, it's kind of kind of up to you, man. Yeah, I'm down for whatever. Uh, so this year, I've really been trying to support a lot more of the small businesses. Uh, you know, of course with all the COVID crap and everything. It's, right. it's kind of a double-edged sword because it's great for the small shop guys, but you know, at the same time, I feel like they need help now more than ever. So yeah. really, whatever you want to do, it, it doesn't matter to me. Um, whatever you think would, you know, you'd want to show other folks. I'm, I'm kind of known for fancy swim baits, um, triple injection stuff. You know, I've, my channel's kind of not to sound big, but but it's kind of led the way in education, I would say, for teaching others how to come into the soft plastic bait hobby, more specifically soft plastic lures. Um, and so I've tried to take that to the extreme and really do some things that people weren't used to seeing. So um, if, if you like swim baits, I can definitely hook you up with some stuff you're not finding on the shelves. But yeah, dude, I'm I'm open for whatever. I'm I'm uh, honored that you would reach out to me to even do it. So. <laughs> oh no, hey, yeah, I'm 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 honored you were willing to uh, willing to collab. You know, that's that's how we promote growth a lot. I think in the YouTube space. Uh, like I said, send me an address, and I'll be sending you a couple pictures in the next few days of what I was able to come up with. So. Awesome, man. Sounds good to me. Okay, well, hey. Appreciate it, man. This is going to be fun. Uh, I'll, I'll get to work in the next few days, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. So. Heck yeah. Okay, awesome, dude. I'll shoot you in your guests over. I, I appreciate it a lot. Hey, hey, I, I appreciate the love as well, and I'll uh, talk to you soon, buddy. All right, take care, dude. Yeah, man, see ya. Okay, so I've started with some striping, which is what I like to do uh, with a lot of my bluegill patterns. So the pattern I have in mind for uh, for Mr. Debo here is is insane like i really hope we can pull it off uh the first try but um so for anyone unfamiliar with some of this uh, more layered pouring techniques here this is a method that i developed called skin pouring okay so we're pouring little skins of plastic right that plastic is just a thin skin it's a layer the beginning of a pattern i actually don't like that one so we're going to peel it out and <laughs> we're going to 
Try to pour another one here a little bit more even. Like, a little bit more like we want it. Yeah. Still don't like that one. No matter how many times you practice this, some days you still have uh, a more difficult time with it than others. Okay, I actually like that one. Little nuances here. So this is uh, skin pouring and it's how I develop layers. So just a little thin skin of plastic and then we'll keep doing that. We'll just place color until we have a pattern that I think uh, we like. All right, so I've mixed up sort of a lime green with some little black flake just for texture and I'm just going to pour it along this top here. So again, this is all layered pouring, right? Just now we're going horizontally across the mold rather than vertically with the stripes. So again, it's all what I call skin pouring and that's just the next layer in this layer cake. Uh, so now what we're doing is we're just placing a little bit of orange sort of in the throat. It's not really up in the head, but just kind of below the head. Oops. In this uh, sort of throat section, I'm going to try to do it on camera. So we're just adding some orange right in that section of the bait, just right down in there. And uh, so far that's what we've that's what we've done to the other cavities. Then we're gonna layer some blue up in the heads and then we're gonna fill in this gap uh, with some other colors. So still lots of work to do, but I think these are gonna turn out really special. And the uh, next step, I went ahead and just put a little bit of blue up in the heads. So you can see we're starting to build a pattern here. And then now we're gonna fill in this other spot here, basically the last of the open space with sort of like a little orange champagne color so I'm going to blend some see-through orange, you can see that transparent orange, and then some yellow. So I've got some yellow mixed in and I'm trying to think of how I can build this color the way that I want to. So yeah, just a little bit of yellow, not a whole lot, but then I might spice it up with a little bit of chartreuse even, just to brighten it just a smidge. Yeah, yeah, we, we like to work in smidges around here. And then like I said, maybe like one drop of this orange. This is a very thin orange, but one drop will be noticeable, yeah. Maybe a little bit more chartreuse. Yeah, I don't know, having fun with it. That's actually not a bad shade for a lot of bluegill patterns. All right, there it is, not too bad. I think that's kind of a, a pretty bright and exciting palette of colors. And uh, you know, once we kind of blend these together and then actually pour the main bodies of them and put some eyes on, I think these will look really special. I'll meet y'all back whenever we have these things topped off. All right, there we go, the molds are topped off and they're cooling down and we will meet you back when we reveal how these turned out. All right, these molds are ready. Let's do a quick drum roll and see how these uh, fire tiger-ish looking bluegill baits look. Here we go, drum roll please. Dun, 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 let's see. Make sure, make sure these are even ready to open. <laughs> oh yeah, like I said, these are brand new, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are brand new six inches, never been poured. Check it out. Okay, there it is, looking good. So that is a Jetson Eye, Jetson Lure Company Eye, and that is the Channel Catfish pattern right there. Super cool eye. It just kind of looks silver here when you see it in person. It's a stunner. Yeah, there it is, sort of like a fire tigerish bluegill. And uh, I, I think it's super cool. Super cool. So yeah, so whenever he said, yeah, I want a brim pattern, I got really excited because I was like, yes, I can pour him up some sort of like layer cake sandwich here and uh, try to do something really cool. So yeah, I think those turned out really good. Here's how y'all really know I needed some stuff washed. I just turned on the laundry. 
creating noise in my shop and it's time to film. So basically what we're gonna do is, oh look at that, it's done early. Okay, and I wanted to make him some smaller swim baits, so I'm gonna use the five inch, and this color right here, whenever you see chartreuse, blue highlight, and ZTP hypershift, you know some good stuff is about to happen. Here comes chartreuse shad, and again, for all of you bait making enthusiasts out there, if you want some of these fancy hyper shifts, just look at that. Uh, I have an affiliate program with Dip Your Car, so the affiliate link is in the description below where you can purchase some of these great pearls. All right, so I'm gonna give you all a snapshot of what we're doing here. Uh, what really sets off a lot of my shad patterns is the little kill dot, and I just like to pour it with black. Just like this. Beautiful. So just like that, we have the little black dot right behind the gill plate, just like you would see on an actual bait fish. So that is step one. Okay, all the dots are on. We're gonna close up the molds, transfer them to the hot plate, because uh, we gotta get these things hot so that we can get some nice smooth bonded layers. And uh, now we're gonna pour the bellies in just straight blue highlight powder, um, which is gonna have a seriously cool effect. And here we go, here is the blue highlight belly color there. That is dead on plastics craw tube blend, of course. That is the preferred brand of Plastisol on this channel. It's dead on Plastisol. And we're just pouring that bottom layer just to the top of that little hook slot and insert. You can see it better on this cavity. There we go. Perfect, and we're gonna do that, of course, for all four. All right, and now for the tricky part is pouring the vein, and we just have some chartreuse. So I kinda wanna pour it right there in the center, and just let it go just beyond the tail, right? And on up into the head, just like that. So you can see the chartreuse is gonna stop right here in the tail section and it's gonna stop right up there by the uh, eyeball insert. That to me, and this is really hard to do on camera, that to me is about the correct uh, way to pour these. So that is the middle step, so to speak, is pouring the vein. Check that out. There's that hyper shift, color shift in the uh, cup. And now it's just a uh, question of topping them off. We'll help it out here, bring it on down the tail. There we go. This is what I call chartreuse shad. And it is beautiful. Okay, so the five inch chartreuse shads that we just poured for Devin are cooling down. Those molds get really hot on the hot plate. Um, and so they do take a while to cool down. So in the meantime, we are cooking up three cups of the Dead On Plastics Swim Bait Blend, which is a little bit softer of a blend. So everything that we've done today has been the tube blend, which is a really firm blend. That's what I like to pour my swim baits in. That way you get multiple fish out of each bait. However, I also want to make Devin some really cool triple injection, three color laminate injection baits, some stuff that he probably has never seen before and um, we have just the tools to do it. We have the triple injector. So I've got three cups of swim bait blend heating up and we're gonna make him some seriously cool ecto crawls. Stay tuned for this one. Yeah, how about this contraption? Three triple injectors in one and then the blending block that blends all three colors. That goes into your mold there. Uh, really cool stuff. Uh, by the way, guys, if you're new to my channel, if you've hopped over from Devin's channel to check out this video, uh, a sincere welcome from me. Um, a lot of my videos on this channel are all about lure making, particularly specializing in soft plastics. Uh, if you have any questions about this hobby, uh, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. I have a lot of beginner videos on my channel um, that kind of show you what you need and how to start this great hobby. So I hope you all will enjoy and welcome. Okay, so here are the colors that we have landed on and we've uh, gotten there by just mixing some uh, dead on plastics blue pigment. We have some orange pigment and some yellow. We've mixed them with some browns 
and some pearls, uh, some gray pearls. So we sort of have this like turquoisey blue, sort of this kind of brown, burnt orange and burnt yellow, I guess, is the way to put it. And now we're just gonna put some medium sized black flake in each one, okay? And that's gonna be our triple crawfish colors. All right, let's do this triple madness. Here we go. All right, let's see how we did. Join me in a drum roll reveal, please. Let's see if these came out looking decent. I think they'll be okay. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 okay. You can see already there's some crazy color action going. I actually did not push the injector hard enough. My little tentacles didn't fill all the way in. Sorry, Devin, I'll try to get that on the next round. But just look at the claws here. You can see this kind of beautiful aqua turquoise, the orange and the yellow all blending together. And that's what we love so much about triple injection is how you get so many palettes of colors, you know. And there we go. You can see all the antennas filled, all the little uh, feet filled. So let's get one of these, or I don't know, let's get two of them out. Yeah, there it is from that side. And there it is from that side. Yeah. Triple injection rules. Oh yeah, this one looks good. It got a bit more of the orange. It's just, look at all the Man, just look at all the flavors. Oh man, there ain't no way he's not catching one on these. Okay, let's check on those chartreuse shad uh, five inch swim baits. They have long since cured up. Oh, it's gonna go on that side, of course. Oh yeah, look at that. Yes sir, yes sir. That is shadalicious. Okay, those were a success. And uh, we're going to take the rest of them out. And uh, we're going to put, I don't know, what do y'all think? Does this pass the Jetson eye test? I think it does. And uh, just so that we remember where they came from, <laughs> I had some 8 millimeter sample logo eyes. So those are the world's worst fishing eyes. John Jetson made those for me. So thank you, John. And uh, yeah, there it is. Some really cool chartreuse shad swim baits and uh doesn't get any any more uh custom and realistic than that i have one more thing that i'm gonna make for him we're gonna open pour some really cool ribbon tail worms it's gonna be a real simple pour and then we are out of here yeah so this is cool so this is a 10 inch ribbon tail mold uh and as you can see it's an open uh, hand pour style so i have some like emerald green just up in the uh tips and then i'm gonna do what's called skin pouring uh a layer of I guess like a light brown and then I'm going to fill that body in with white and then I'm going to come back to this um, emerald and fill that in in the tail section. So uh, yeah, we're going to make some cool worms here. We're going to do it real fast. Uh, I don't want the video to go too long. So I'll meet you back whenever we're kind of uh, a, a little bit further ahead. Okay, we're going to show you the hard part here. I'm going to try to pour this tail like this on camera. I would normally actually pick the mold up to pour this, but here we go. Steady hands. Okay, there it is. So, um, yeah, well, I guess we might as well do the other side, right? Because if you can do one, you should be able to do both, right? Yeah, helps to rest your cup on the 
workbench. And once we uh, heat these up, it will fill in any little gaps, but that is what the worms are looking like. And I have the molds now uh, completely poured in on the hot plate and the hot plate, because we poured these things in stages that plastic sets up, the heat from the hot plate will literally cook it together. So think about it as mixing up a pie that's still raw. You gotta cook it to finish it. So that's what we're doing here and I'll meet y'all back. Oh yeah, hot doggy. Isn't that cool just with the green right up there in the tips and the way it just kind of bleeds in to that sort of brown pearl body there with that flake and then the matching green tails. Oh man. Dude, I'm jealous of these worms, buddy. I'm gonna have to make some for uh, for the old personal tackle box right there. Oh man, so cool. Just a regular ribbon tail worm like we've all used a million times, just with a little hand pour TLC. Oh yeah, baby, there's thumbnail. I mean, if that doesn't uh, encompass what this video is about, uh, then, then I just, I can't do it. But I mean, look at the look at those ecto craws, my lord! And uh, man, I really like my sort of like cream emerald worms back there. And uh, I mean, it's hard to beat just a good shad, of course. And then uh, and then the very first thing that we did were sort of these like fire tiger bluegills there. And uh, wow, those are those are really cool. So Devin, man, Debo, I ho I hope you like this stuff. I hope it's a, uh, a tray of goodies that uh, will impress, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to get them, get them in some video footage, do an unboxing, hopefully catch a fish. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and just like every uh, video, please comment down below which ones were your favorite. Did you like the six inch kind of fire tiger bluegills? Did you like the triple injection craws? Did you prefer the five inch chartreuse shads? Or did you like the hand pour worms? This is a tough one. I, I honestly do not have a favorite here. Most of the time, I have a favorite. This time, uh, I think they're all pretty awesome. So uh, hopefully y'all think so as well. And uh, please, lots of comments down below. Okay, everybody, I think that is enough for one video. Um, headed your way soon, buddy. So uh, yeah, I, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you got to see some uh, cool and new bait uh, ideas and color ideas, maybe some techniques. Um, you know, most of my normal episodes are much more in depth from like a technical perspective. I build each color on camera so you get to see um, basically the plastic go from raw plastic all the way up to the end of the process. This one being more of a blog, you know, I was doing several different things, worms over here, swim baits over here, um, triple injection over there. I, you know, I kind of had to shoot through uh, each one a little bit faster. Um, but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed a little bit different of a video. Always exciting to collaborate with other awesome YouTubers. Head over to Devin's channel, link in the description below. Give him a sub, give me a sub. We'll catch you in the next one.